What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to let's create an action role playing game using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we are going to be working on the health bar for the enemy which is going to be like over their head. So in the previous video we added our own health bar and in the next one we are going to add a health bar like in, th in this one we're going to add a similar health bar which is going to be over the top of the enemy's head. Before we get started, I want you guys to like the video and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And super special thanks to my press patrons who are supporting this series and this channel. This video is going to be like very similar to the previous one where we added the health bar to the BP player and we created like its own widget. And yeah, we're going to do something very similar for the enemy. So uh, we already have the... Um, functions inside of the blueprint interface so if you open it you should see that we already have update stats and update health but this this stuff we made it in the bp player so we are gonna need to add in like we're gonna copy most of it and add it to the bp enemy so yeah we have like update stats here so let us open the bp enemy Actually, no, before we start working on the code, let us work on the widget first. So we have here HUD widget. I am going to duplicate that and I'm going to call it enemy health bar widget. Yeah, there you go. And if you open it, you should see that we have the health bar over here at the top left corner of the screen. What we want to do is we want to select it and anchor it to the middle and make the position for it 0, 0. And it's not in the middle, so we're going to have to change that. Yeah, we're, we're just moving it like this. And we should also change the size to half of what it is. So I want to make it 20 by 225. Like this. Oh my god, we ruined everything. Uh, we should find like the new number for this. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. So 225 by 20 instead of 15. I don't know. No, the, the height is the same. So yeah, I'm just going to make it 20. And over here, 112. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, perfect. Now we are also going to the graph here. And we are going to check this out. We have event update health which is from the um, interface and we have set percent which sets the target which is the health bar yeah perfect we're not gonna need to edit that but if you guys like want to make other stuff in the widget you can just collapse this to a node and call it health bar or update health bar and that way it'll be more organized because one of you guys told me like this isn't very organized and yeah, I told him like, you can do that. You can just collapse it to a node and it will be more organized. <laughs> so yeah, we are now gonna go to the VP enemy here and we have to go to the event graph. Yeah, here we are. So what we did here is at the event tick, we made update stats. Target is BP player. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing, but target is the enemy. So just type in update stats target is bp base no not this one update stats i think it's this one no not this one either um why did we get this one i don't remember okay no problem um we are gonna copy this and we are gonna place it in the bp enemy yeah, I think I think this is the way to do it. Can we have both? Yeah. Okay. And we are also going to copy this and this. No, we don't need this target, so just copy without it. Because, you know, we're not going to making it a, a HUD widget. It's going to be different. So, yeah, if you go back to your enemy, you should paste it here and connect the update health to the event update stats and the health points divided by the max health points so yeah that's the health percentage and also one more thing we want to do we are going to go add a component here which is going to be a widget 
and yeah let's just keep the name widget for now and give it a try first and the widget class is going to be the enemy health bar widget and the space is going to be screen and yeah for now we're just going to drag out of this and we are going to drag out and type in widget and you should see get user widget object and from here we are going to try and remake this part so just type in update health there you go and you just delete this part and put it here and put this one here and if you compile and hit play i think it should work now yeah as you can see it works but the enemy is way too far so we are gonna try to do something about that and also the health is already zero in the bp enemy the health like the default max health is set to zero for some reason so i'm just gonna make it 10 and if you give the game a try you should see that the enemy health bar is now full and also what we also want to do is for now let's just move the begin like the player start to near the enemy so that we can see them as soon as we start the game and yeah if you take a look now you should see that the enemy yeah the health bar is not placed properly on the enemy so we are going to go back to the bp enemy here and we are just going to move the um health part the widget so it's here for some reason oh wait why can't we see it yeah world and we can see it then we can place it in the right area and then if you hit play yeah it should be there and you know when it's world it can move around with the enemy like this and you can you can also you know hides behind it can hide behind stuff but if it's space then you know or screen oh my pc is overheating again then you know um it's gonna not be like if you hide it behind something it's still gonna be there so yeah we are gonna get to that but for now this is fine And the areas is like the entire thing is messed up. So we are gonna make the location 0, 0, 0. And instead of moving it here, we are gonna go to the widget itself and we are gonna go to the designer here and we're just gonna place it in the middle at the at a top part, like an upper part. And when you compile and go back to the BP enemy. If you move it back to world, you should see how, where it is. And yeah, now that we have it working, what we can do is make it so that when the player is far from the enemy, it will not work anymore. Or, you know, this will just not, it will go away. So yeah, we are going to make like a radius for it to be activated. So add a component, which is going to be a collision. Yeah, sphere collision. And we are going to make it, we are going to call it like, I don't know, uh, health bar activator. And of course, it's not going to be in the widget. And yeah, over here in the event graph, we are going to add an event for this, which is going to be on component begin overlap. And... It's what gonna set the visibility of the widget so when we overlap with this sphere around the enemy it's gonna turn on the widget so over here do we have like set visibility or something because you know it's there should be a way to deactivate it yeah visible so we are gonna get this widget and we are gonna set visibility to be true and when we end the overlap with the enemy we are gonna set the visibility to be false so the way to do that or oh, or first wait yeah the other actor is gonna be bp player so that you know you can know when the player himself is touching this then you set the visibility to be true and when he is no longer touching then you're gonna set it to be false so yeah i'm just gonna move this i don't know where here 
the enemy blueprint is getting very messy but we're gonna fix that now uh yeah over here select the health bar activator again and then you want to add another event collision on component and overlap so this is what happens when you stop touching the um the enemy you do the same thing copy the entire thing but the new visibility is false and also uh where is it the health bar the widget itself it should be not visible unless you know you make it visible by touching the sphere so if i make the sphere a little bit bigger we should be able to um give it a try so the sphere radius is gonna be something much bigger yeah like this or even more i don't know and if you hit play yeah as you can see it does not get turned on until you are near the enemy and you know you can animate it to be fading but i don't think that's an issue here yeah it's fine the way it is and of course the location of it is somehow messed up i'm not sure why so i'm gonna go back to the widget here and yeah i think it needs to be at the top like this and inside of the where was it inside of the widget itself it needs to be in the middle so over here yeah i'm just gonna drag it down a little bit like this should be fine and if we hit play i don't know will it work yeah it's fine i'm gonna move it down a little bit more no this is way too down yeah like this and if you hit play you can see it above the enemy and when you get far you can no longer see it of course the sphere radius needs to be a lot bigger or you know if you guys don't want a sphere you can make it like a box or something and it should work also i think you need to be like out of the sphere first to activate it so i'm just gonna go with 1000 and if i hit play and get out of the sphere and then get back in i should be able to see it yeah as you can see we can see it and then when we try to run away from the enemy we can no longer see his health bar so yeah that way like it does not get uh, overcrowded with the health bars of many enemies if you have a lot of them and yeah when the enemy dies you know the health bar just goes away or no it doesn't okay we're gonna fix that real quick we are gonna go to the widget itself and fix that of course my computer is giving me trouble so i'm just gonna ignore it for now and have to finish this video because you know i'm not gonna like crush it for the video so i'm just gonna ignore it for now and of course i need to save and everything in case you know it decides to crash so yeah, i'm gonna open the enemy health bar widget and in the graph here what we want to do is after we set the percentage we want to branch basically what we want to do is we also want to set the visibility here uh for the health bar itself to be if the like if it's less than zero we are also gonna delete the health bar or you know make it invisible so over here what you want to do is you want to make a float less than float or you know float less than or equal to or just less than one or you can make it like less than or equal to zero and yeah if it's true if it's less than one we are gonna make a set visibility and the target is gonna be the health bar the visibility is gonna be hidden and we're gonna copy the same one and connect it to the false and it's going to be visible so if the if the health percentage is less than one we are going to branch or you know if it's less than one we are going to hide the health bar and if it's more than one we are going to make it visible so if you compile and give it a try of course we need to get out of the radius and then get back in so that we can see it yeah we have the enemy here and if we kill her whoops there is something wrong okay so let's just try the other one less than or equal to if it's less than or equal to zero then we are gonna you know 
change the health. Uh, yeah, we're gonna deactivate the health bar. So we need to turn on the radius first. Yeah, here we go. And if we damage our enemy, we killed her and the health bar is now gone. We should also try one more thing and that is if we kill the enemy and then get out of the radius and get back in, will we have trouble with it? So yeah, let's just give it a try. We killed her and then we are getting away from the radius, then we are getting back in. And yeah, we can no longer see the health bar so I think that's fine. We did it perfectly. So yeah guys, this is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was helpful for you. Uh, please stick around for more videos. In the next video we are going to be doing like the player stamina and it's probably going to take two videos to get it done so that you know, you can't attack, you can't sprint, you can't dodge unless you have stamina. So yeah, and yeah, we are also going to work on the stamina bar. But yeah, we're gonna get started with the stamina bar. We are just gonna do the bar first and then we are gonna add the conditions. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I really hope you guys are looking forward to the next. Thank you very much for my precious patrons and if you are new to my channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.